Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's just gone past nine and uh, you can hear a noise in the background. Dad and my wife, uh, Kirsty, are currently bringing in the last of the hay. There's just a load left to do. The rain beat us and we couldn't get it in. Uh, so it's been dry all day. So Dad's bringing the last load in. Kirsty's in the 3085 and Dad's loading in the 62. And a lovely evening, you can just see the moon up there. Um, but we're not here to video that because we're bored of seeing hay. Well, I am. I'm bored of hay and silage. And, I'm not bored of silage, and, but we've plenty of videos of that. So we're talking about this. This, 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 right? There's a few load of lime here tipped so far. Um, this will be good on some of the grass fields we have here in the farm and uh, It'll be all spread hopefully uh, This is why I'm making this video. I'm glad I got to do this um, Because I won't be here to see it getting spread, but hopefully Kirsty Will be able to get some footage of them spreading and um, there'll be a contractor coming in to spread this lime um, I don't know when well it'll be the this is now Thursday the 12th of August so I'm not sure if it'll be the this weekend coming or the following week so this will be getting spread some it will be getting spread at two ton to the acre well most of it actually is getting spread at two ton to the acre a blanket spread at two ton to the acre and we have one field which is slightly low just just in the low fives and it'll need three ton to the acre and then what we'll do is we'll soil sample then um, later on next year and we'll see what's needing a toppy uppy so the fields aren't bad they're just catching them now before they get too low on lime better topping them up as you can see cracking crop of grass coming regrowth grass coming through um, it's just up to my ankles here now this hasn't got any fert or any manure or anything whatsoever on it. It's just re natural regrowth. It hasn't had any fert all year. It's been natural organic grass um, because we didn't get in in time. We didn't get the farm bought in time and didn't get in in time to get any fertilizer on it. And the previous owners had uh, put the farm in a scheme that we couldn't cut the grass until mid July and the last there they'd one park in there at the first of august so that's it that's it so i'll probably put this will be the introduction and the end of this video for i'll just stitch in uh kirsty's footage of the lime spreading hopefully um so i'm not sure how long a video is going to be but uh hopefully you'll enjoyed it and as the usual old story, if you've liked it, thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more. And you'll get a notification. I keep preaching. I want to get to that five, five and a half thousand subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully. Um, yeah, so that's really it. So, again, drop your comments in the box below. Um, let us know what you're at. Um, any questions just ask and I'll try and answer them the best I can um, Try and always get back to everybody I can that has uh, Dropped a comment and uh, We'll uh, catch you in the next video so Bye for now
right. Um, it's Sunday evening, the lime's been sprayed. You'll have seen that in the video. Uh, don't worry, these aren't our toys. They're the contractors who parked them here for the night. Uh, we'll pick them up in the morning. Uh, right enough, that could stay if it would like to, but I'm sure it won't. Nice, straight, tidy, clean manatee. Um, yeah, so it's just starting to rain, muzzly rain, which is fine. Um, could do with that to wash the fur down and wash the lime in. It's got the 210 or 215 actually, and the breed of lime spreader. I used to drive a similar outfit for a contractor. Um, it was a 6 to 10 on Breedle Spreader. Um, actual contractor had two, you had a K85 and a K105. Uh, I used to use a 105, or I used to drive the the 85. And you fairly know when you've had full of lime anyway. Um, previous to having the 210, I would have had a class 640. So yeah, that's it, it's close up of it. You have your rubber belt driven off your shaft and uh, that shaft then would be driven right now if it's hydraulically driven but you could also have it on the uh, land wheel. You would have had a hydraulic ram here, would have pushed this down, drive wheel would have connected onto the, the wheel and then it would have turned the shaft down here, turning the belts and then your main PTO shaft would have drove your spinning deck. So that's just a close up of a lime spreader if anybody hasn't seen one before. So yeah, that's it. And these, you can just make out here. See the, they're starting to wear. These are pretty good, but I've seen them almost gone. Um, so yeah, that's it. You can just see that one starting to make a little hole just now so lime's a very 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 sore thing on, on metal um it's basically it's just like sandblasting so yeah that's it a fair size difference between the two two machines but yeah that's it that's that's about it um i know i've probably put an end in in the start of the video yes it's a bit upside down but that's it um so you know the score thumbs up if you liked it drop a comment in the box below and i uh, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one bye for now